Spirit and in Truth here from Love Wings Ministry Studios. Coming at you live here tonight on Tuesday night to bring you the word of the Lord, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Go ahead, Natasha, put this on. Amen. I'm here with Brandon. Amen. Hey, what's going on? yet? Yes, we're live. We're live. God is good. Amen. Glad to be here. Father, we thank you yes. this evening. I'm here with Brandon, and we're just going to be sharing some thank things uh, to encourage you, my sisters and brothers. We give you a, a shout-out to Full Gospel Tabernacle out, and our uh, Pastor Hernandez and Pastor, the pastors out in uh, West Palm Beach. God bless you. Amen. Le damos las gracias esta noche que estamos aquí live. Amen. And the Love Wings Ministry Studios para ustedes pastores allá en West Palm Beach a hablar de la palabra del Señor que va a darnos más fuerza en nuestra vida. Yeah. Amen. Amen. My Spanish ain't that, that <laughs> no, great when I'm trying to do that. They know. They know. <laughs> I don't know. God has opened the door and we've been just uh, working with some pastors out there and encouraging them and doing some new things. But I'm excited that you're yeah. here. Amen. A it's young a man time. here. How old are you? 22. 22 yeah. years old and he yeah. loves the Lord. 23 Amen. April. <laughs> you know, I just want to read one verse. It says that in John chapter 8, verse 32, and I'm reading out of the complete Jewish Bible. It says, and you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. And that's a, basically in every version the same thing. Jesus, remember, gives us power over the enemy. And we know that the power and authority comes from who? From Jesus, who defeated who? Old Snaggletooth, which we call Satan. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Uh, and how do we? And how do we know that? Is through what? Through the cross. Like everything else comes through the cross. Right. But you know that's what I wanted to share a little bit tonight to encourage our brothers and sisters right. not to forget the power and the anointing that God wants you to have in your life, as yeah. He has in Brandon and mine and. And we continue just to share the truth. And I'm again, I'm so grateful you're here. Yeah. But I want to know some things. Sure. And how did you come to the Lord? Amen. Yeah, so at a young age, just always been around the Lord, really, with the family. My grandma, she awesome. really, yeah, she's awesome. She's a pastor. My dad, you know, my mom. Mm -hmm. But um, me, personally, I came to the Lord through just reading the Bible and then really really dissecting it with another another book which was it was a 40-day devotional right right, um, right. And, and it's back in high school my freshman year I, I went in uh, 40 days of just this complete mindset shift I, I would say where I was just so differently focused mm. on on God it was completely every intention everything mm. was mm. It, it, it could have been little things like laundry, dishes, you know, they, <laughs> like, but if it yes. was done out of like, all right, but this is for the Lord, you know Amen. what I'm saying? Amen. So, Amen. yeah, but it really guided me into more happiness, into more enlightenment, really, and understanding of the Lord, really, like, my, my life is going to be set. It's just about continuing to have this mindset. So, um, Amen. Amen. then really coming to, you know, get baptized. Right, that, that right. was it. Having my abuela, you know, she's a pastor. I, I wouldn't choose anyone else, you know. Amen. So that's right. that's a, <laughs> a great moment, you know. She's a great, she's a great right testimony yeah, and example. Gives me goosebumps. I'm yeah. gonna be honest. It's, that's it's good. good that's good. That's yeah. Good. yeah, good stuff. Good yeah. stuff. And um, <laughs> the verse that we talk about, make you free, like the truth shall make you free. Right. It's really good. That's it. Was a free moment. In, yes. In terms yes. Of, what we're talking about baptism and coming to the Lord in enlightenment you know it, it's really good to to sit down and, and really talk about that verse yeah you, for yeah. sure yeah and that and you know that that's yeah. what it's all about you know because um, uh, God from day one to me the Bible's always been the love love of God because he loves us so much yeah and he wants us to live a good life and but to I remember when I got saved, I was about 20-something years old. I got saved and, and yeah. I accepted the Lord in my life in New York and how God uh, yeah. ministered to me and my family and we continue and what God has brought us from. Mm -hmm. 
you know, and what he's still inside of us. This is what I talk about. That's the power, the anointing of God that comes yeah. upon you. I like when you said you, you got into that 40 day uh, 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 yeah. uh, of just getting in, in, into the word of God. And that's, right. this is where we receive the power. This is how we water the seed. As yeah. I was sharing Sunday, that exactly. in right. order for, for something to grow, you got to water it. In other words, you got to feed it. And knowledge is power and strength and authority. Right. Right, especially exactly. spiritual right and and um, that and that is the greatest thing of all but that's the fourth thing you know uh the bible says that that um people perish simply i keep reminding mm -hmm. people of that because i remind myself of that all the time oh, yeah that people perish because lack of knowledge and not to say that i know everything but the more you seek the more you learn the more you start doing it's like you get a habit of doing something it becomes part of your life it starts changing you you know what i'm saying you start getting strong you start getting wisdom you start having more security yeah you start having more uh uh knowing yourself yeah and the power that you have and what god has given you yeah and i try to i try to get into people's brain because i said lord you know i think about the word all the time 24 7 that i think about it and the more i do it the more hungry, as the Bible said, right. uh, get thirsty right. after righteousness and truth. Right. And what is righteousness but to do things right? Right. You know, and oh, this is what we're trying to teach here at Love Wings, and always. And, and the, who's Love Wings? All of us. Because right. we're God's children. Exactly. And right. we're under the shadows of the wings of God. I mean, to me, uh, God is God is omnipresent. The Bible said that means He's everywhere with us. Yeah. And the more we acknowledge Him, the more, you know, I, yeah. I, in my 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 way of thinking, the more we become stronger. Yeah. Okay. In our relationship yes. with God, and we get to know not only God in a deeper and personal relationship because that's what He wants, mm -hmm. but we learn to be faithful mm -hmm. to to. Yeah. For that relationship, yeah. to be faithful, rather, I meant to say that, to be faithful to the relationship. And I would say that strength we get from the Lord mm -hmm. gives us the ability to be bold. Yes. You know? and, and yes. Like, just just go out there, and, like you said, be courageous. Yes. Like with the yes. full strength of armor, right? you can yeah. cut down anything. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, exactly. It's really so, good, but it's all in here. You just got you have to stay close to this. this Amen. Yeah. Amen. So what right. would you tell young people out there about, well, I can't say because I'm not 20 no more, but okay. I remember when I was 20 years old, I was, yeah. I was so excited. I didn't even know the word that well. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? I had yeah. just got saved, but I, yeah. it was like something inside me. I had to go out and tell people. What could I tell them about this? Yeah, right, yeah, so yeah. This no, what like, you would tell a young man, yeah. that, you know, how how exciting it is, yeah. right? Serving up, because I, I haven't looked back since. Man, that's, okay, so honestly, <laughs> the, it's exactly like... Victoria, God bless yes, you, Victoria. Yes. <laughs> no, no, I would say. Don't get nervous now. <laughs> no, 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 stay on track here. No, no, but this is really like, um, like being in the pool. Like, I know it sounds weird, but no, you know, when, you, when your dad or my dad, my dad taught me how to swim, right? Right. And it was over in the shallow section, and as you, you know, I got older, I was able to go in the deeper section, and that's and that's what the word is you yes. know what i'm saying yes. it's like like your father the lord teaches you the word and it's almost like you you see these really simple things that really are like wow i could easily apply this to my everyday life mm. and as you do that and as you grow into that you start to see more and more lines yes. more and yes. more things and then you reread these lines that have the words the same words but like these different meanings to it so right. it's like you're diving deeper into it you start getting more revelation, yeah, like you, more interpretation, right and yeah. understanding. Yeah. And this is why I don't understand. I try to, you know, and I've been praying and asking mm -hmm. the Lord, uh, because God hears the prayer of the righteous. You know, yeah. the Bible says, and but we got to know that we're righteous, right? And how do we yeah. know we're righteous? Because we we got to know that we're following yeah. the word to the best of our ability every day. And if we fall short. We just ask God to forgive us. That's the beauty exactly. of God. And that's why I say it's the love of God. Yeah. That he forgives us and we're able to get back on track and he doesn't hold us against us. Yeah. That's a beautiful thing. People hold things against us when we make a mistake. Really Thank beautiful. God that God does it. Yeah, that's, that's the best part. That's 
but that's it's the part it's, where I break down and cry. You know, yeah. I'm just like, thank you, Lord. This is yeah. everything. It's exciting because yeah. uh, to me, I love doing the work of the Lord, and I try to get young people to understand that, and every and every person. Mm. Uh, because a lot of people think, I remember I was doing a, a study and a sermon. Right. Okay. <laughs> I was I, I'm getting, I'm getting a, uh, a cue card here to look at the camera. <laughs> okay. Yes, for those out there. Amen. Um, yeah. Uh, I, I was doing a study and I was talking about, you know, uh, uh, again, that knowledge is power, but... What greater knowledge to know who God is? I mean, that, to me, that oh, says it yeah, all. That's good. Right? To know who God is and the power and the promises that are in the Bible. Because these things that were uh, put there, for who? For you and me? God promised, man. He said, test me and see yeah. if I won't bless you. That's what he's saying. And, and that's so important. So it's exciting. It, it, yeah. it hurts my heart that today, you know, so many people are lacking to, to even come out to church. You know? It's and, consistency, right? Yeah. And it speaks on their life. That's how I see it. Yeah. That's what I've seen for myself. Just speaking on my own experience, my, mm -hmm. own, my own life. You right. Know? That's that's just my own opinion, you know? I, it's about being consistent. What do you want to do? What are your deep desires, really, mm -hmm. you know? And go after that. And it, it's going to be hard. Mm hmm but that's what it is. That's, you know, the glory, the road to glory. You know? Yes, exactly. yes. So, to prosperity, yeah. to exactly. to success, to everything. I tell people, you know, yeah. what, what, you know uh, um, we all want to be successful. We all want to have uh, things. But the greatest thing that we sh should be searching for as the disciples went to Jesus, and I'll say it again. Mm -hmm. He said, uh, what is the greatest thing that we can do? He said, first seek the kingdom of God. Exactly. The righteousness of God. Yeah, amen. You know what I'm saying? Righteousness is doing things in common terms, doing things right. And 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 everything that you do. And that's what the Bible teaches, and that's what the Bible tells us to be truthful. Right. Mm. Oh again, we started with you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free mm. from those bondages that try yeah. to 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 hinder you from moving forward. Right, exactly. Um Wow, you really slow yourself more yes. when you when you aren't truthful. You yes, know, there's you you know you delay your yeah. your blessing exactly. That's, That's what exactly. I've said to <laughs> delay it. Yes, and what more? What better can you do than just be honest, especially to the Lord? Just sit down and say, I know you know everything, but here I need to you know open out my closet and get <laughs> yes. some stuff yes. out here. You know. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. You know, there, there's a verse that says, uh, and, and, and it says, in Jesus' name, we have legal what? Authority for spiritual work. What does that mean, spiritual work? Living a life, right? Because we're all called, everyone that's called to be, uh, that accepts Christ in their life, you, you're there to serve. That's what that calling is. You're there to serve. Yeah. You see, Jesus served on the cross for us, and, 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 and gave us the word, and, uh, and, the, and, and our Heavenly Father gave us the word so we can empower ourselves what yes. to do and what not to do simply. I don't try to try to go so high up that people don't understand because it comes down to reality is this. This is the book of life and the directions to how to get success, how to have joy, how to have peace, and, and most of all, how to have a destiny in Christ Jesus, through Christ Jesus with the Father. And that is the most important thing. Right. Jesus' name is our legal authority for spiritual work with God. And it says, there is only one, one God, the Bible says, right? There's one God and there's only one way that people, and I'm reading this out of the easy to read version because I, I want to make sure that all of you understand this, is that there's only one God and there's only one way that people can reach God. That way is through who? Through Christ Jesus, who as a man gave himself and paid for everyone to be what? Free. Yes. This is the message that was given to us, yeah. which is the word of God, 
just at the right time than yeah. you have it even today. And that's First yeah, Timothy yeah, chapter yeah. two, that's verse gospel. five and six. Mm -hmm. First Timothy chapter two, verse five and six. For those that want to look it up, make sure that what I'm saying you is in the word. Amen. Because there you go. this is the thing I was sharing before. We got to be careful because we can be deceived by the things of the world and even things in the church. And we know that the devil knows the word. Yeah. But let me say this: that God wants us to walk in the great anointing and authority mm. right here in this world while we're here right. and that's the beauty of knowledge and power like you say you lock yourself all you were studying for 40 days or whatever studying yeah. reading the word of god empowering yeah. yourself empowering yes. yes there you go strengthening and yourself. strengthening yeah. your spirit exactly. and, yeah. the, and then that, that that first seed that you what are you doing yeah. you're watering so you're starting to yeah. grow yeah and there's so much potential that God wants to lay on you, on every young people out there. But you gotta, you yeah. gotta, yeah. Knock yeah. and the door be open. The yeah. Bible says, "Come in." This be is consistent. what God is saying to them yeah. for yeah. for those out there. But yeah. let me ask you a question. Yeah. All right. How how do you feel since you've been coming to Love Wings for a uh, while yeah. now? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I've learned a lot and just you know just come to you know just close a relationship with the Lord, which is all I can ever ask for. And with each Lord. other too, yeah. and with each other, of course. That's, yeah, that's and the main thing. Yeah, exactly. That find that that's what, you know. Mm. I try to. I, the reason I say that because mm. this is what God wants. Right. Of course. He wants us to have a relationship with Him. Yeah. But that same relationship that Jesus prayed, and I'm yeah. always sharing this. I'll yeah. say it again and again and again and again and again and again. Yeah. That Jesus prayed for the believers. Yeah. That they be one as one as He is with the Father. Mm. That we be as one, but also that we, as the Father wants us to be, brother mm. and sister. Like something you said, the good Samaritan spirit. Yeah. Not only that's, to, to the world, but at. to each other. Yeah. That's how the world will know that and we are true disciples of Christ. Yeah, and if we can resonate the good Samaritan spirit, yes. like you're saying, everywhere yes. we come across to. Yes. And, you know, I still go to my old church. It's still a good time, and then we could still, you know, relay the message the same way. We're mm -hmm. all together. You yes. Know? And that's, yes. That's the love. That's just the truth. You know. Amen. Amen. That's that's what it's all and about. We reach out to everybody out here. We ask you all to come down here. Yes. To love yes. Wins and to come, you know, to find a church. Find yes. Your, find your home. You know, find the Lord. You know? Yes. And you know the thing that gets me that everybody said we want to find. We all going to the same place, so we're already at home. Yeah. You see, yeah. we we just got to keep the Sabbath day holy and not forsake the assembling of ourselves, as the Bible says. Yeah. And learning to apply the word, not just speak it. That's yeah. the problem today. We 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 say things, but we don't uh, uh, do the things that we're supposed to. And yeah. this is why the Bible tells us uh, simply and directly of what we need to do and what not to do. It's a what to do and what not to do word. Yeah, it's so simple. You know? Yeah. And it's simple, but we make it more complicated. Yeah. And something you said I like, I, I, I talked about it in the past, mm -hmm. that when we don't follow the word, we, you know what, we, 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 we our destination, we stop. Oh, uh, yeah, that road from to moving glory. forward yeah. to our destination. Yeah. So, uh, you know, like some people get saved, they get it real quick. Some people take, you know, mm -hmm. They don't want to accept the Lord. They're taking a long time to accept the Lord. Mm -hmm. You know, to really search the See scriptures. That grew on the hard rock, right? Right. Or the but, thorny bushes. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. And it's sad. And it's sad. But let me say this: like I tell everybody, we don't know the time. They they gotta call us, or God comes. And the question is: Are you ready, my sister and brother out there? Am I ready? Why do we do the things that we do? Why do we keep repeating here and talking about the things of God and talking about the scriptures and doing everything that we do here? Because we want to stay plugged in, so to speak. Amen. You see, to the source. Who's our source? He's our source. And it's through Christ Jesus. Amen. Uh, Luke says that this, but it, it says, but God wants us, remember I was saying that God wants us to walk in the great anointing and the authority that is that we can have here in this world and it yeah. seems and the only way is through christ jesus amen luke chapter 10 verse 19 if you mm. want to look it up for me I luke chapter 10 and you read it in that version yeah, then i'll read it in the easy version amen so, 
Luke chapter 10, verse 19. And that's why we're here tonight. And I'm so grateful you're here tonight with me. Yeah, man. I'm happy to be here. Uh, because, you know, together with, with, you know, this, you can touch somebody out there. I can touch somebody. Maybe something you said or I say. Because exactly. we're talking about the right thing. We're talking exactly. about the Word of God. Exactly. Uh, Luke 10, 19. All right. Now, behold, I give you the authority to trample on serpents mm -hmm. and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. Mm -hmm. And nothing shall be shall by any means hurt you. Amen. Oh, that's good. In other words, that's he's just good. saying simply, he uh, mm. he is the enemy. Who do we know who the enemy is? But knowing that I have given you more power, it mm. says in the easy to read version, more power he has. I have given you power to crush. Mm. You know that and that's a strong crush. word. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Crush the enemy. And that's what I'm talking about yeah. simply. They, there's so much power in the Word of God. And yeah. we got to learn to utilize it. But in order to utilize it, we got to know the Word. Mm. we got to live by the Word. Mm. But again, it's not just reading the Word. You see, the only, yeah. the only when you have power, it's when you, when, you true, when you truly have a true intimate relationship with God as father and son or daughter and father with him yes and with the holy spirit that person that's within us amen that's the great gift that, that that through jesus we receive is the holy spirit that we got to continue to water that which yes. is the seed because the seed is the holy spirit that was planted the word was planted we accepted christ then the, the bible said the holy spirit comes upon you we have to continue to feed it and, yes. and, and, and as we continue to water that seed, we become stronger in the things and the of God. And the more that we can help his kingdom grow. Yes. That's the biggest thing. We're called yeah, to, yeah. we're saved to yeah. serve. I exactly. did a message that. Yeah. We're, we're saved to serve. And yeah. when people get that idea and say that, you know what, well, that's why we go out and preach the gospel. He mm. says, go out and share about my love. To me, it's simple. I try to make it as simple as possible because I think of Jesus that he was simple. He just told it like it. Completely. Like it is, amen. And yeah. he spoke it that everyone understood. And to me, the yeah. word has always been love. It's all about love and, and how we use that love that God has given us, that he has entrusted you as a young man and me. Mm -hmm. And we're to grow in wisdom. And through the years, like for myself, I can say I got saved at 27 because I have got saved and my family was brought up in the house of the Lord. You see what I'm mm. saying? And my children, my daughters, you know, mm, yep. all in the Lord. Because mm. why? You you see how it, it what God's given you, you give to your family. Yeah. But in order to give that to them and for them to have a true relationship with God, you, they got to see it in you first. Yeah, you have to bear the fruit. Right, right because how can exactly. you give how can you give something to right. someone mm. if it's not in you, especially something good, which is the the spirit of God. What I was talking about. Mm the great anointing and the authority that God gives us as individuals. Mm. And that's what I'm trying to share with you mm. also to encourage mm. you and every person that I meet to yeah. say, you know, they say this church or that church. I don't, I don't, I'm not, we are the church. You and I are the church sitting right here. And yeah. every brother and sister yeah. that's seeking at. the truth and yeah. living the truth, that's my sister and my brother. That's the, that's the power of God working yeah. in their lives. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, we're all going to be in the same place together for those that have a true intimate relationship yeah. with God. Yeah. Oh, man. That, I just want to ask the question. Mm -hmm. So to everyone, you know, if you love, you know, your family and your friends. And yes. Your family, yes. You, you want to reach out to them and make sure that they know about the Lord. That's it, you know. Yes. Just go out there and just talk to them. Be bold, be courageous, you know. Yes. You're giving that spirit to, giving your mouth, you know, to speak about Him. And yeah. So yeah, yeah. reach out. Yeah, reach out. Of course. Amen. And it, yeah. and 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 like you were saying, you know, um, mm. you must believe. That's that's the bottom line. You must believe. So I see, you know, you must mm. believe and you must love. Mm. And this is why I say, people, we can't tear each other down. We got to pray for for every, especially brothers and sisters, because we can fall short when we let our guard down. Remember, the enemy's out there always trying to deceive us and trying to even use the word against us. Mm. 
or to uh, or to make you feel unwanted or unloved or, or unspirit. Uh, I am not having the spirit of God. But you got to continue to feed that word into you. But also, too, you got to continue to pray and to talk with God and to have a true intimate is. relationship yeah. with God. Yeah. yeah. Oh, hallelujah. You know, yeah. uh, again, you must believe what God has said in his word about believing in faith because it all comes down to having faith. Mm -hmm. You see, you can't have both. You gotta have. I mean, you gotta have both. Yes. You can't have one without the other. They're linked. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. Believing in faith. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And again, it says also, and he has he has raised us up together with him. We believe and and seal us with what in heavenly places because we are in Christ Jesus. That's uh, Ephesians chapter two, verse six. Okay. Nice. And then also in Matthew chapter 18, verse 18 says, Truly I say to you that whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. See, this is the power and the authority that I'm talking about Amen. that you have and I have when we have a true intimate relationship yes. with God. Yes. And I encourage everyone to go out there and have it because it's the greatest feeling. It's the greatest thing you could have. You yes. Know? So, amen to that. And so, how do you, how, in your experience, in your own words, I guess, in your yeah relationship as uh, from the what what, what time uh, what age mm. were you at rather when you when you realized that mm. was it like when about I was God and knowing like, God really and the Word of God? God? Yeah. yeah. Um, Really, like, I, I didn't really pay too much attention until I was, like, around 10 to 12. You know, I really was asking the questions about, mm -hmm. you know, knowing the art. Right. You know, the simple ones. And then really just learning more and more, you know, uh, throughout time. And then taking it serious, more serious when I was about, like, 14. Yeah, 15. You know, when I got into my teens, 14, 15, and 16. And that was it, you know. I just stayed consistent. And that's where it's at, just remaining in that and that ability to whatever I'm doing that I'm a doer in Christ and that's it you know amen and yeah what do you see what do you see yourself yeah. doing in let's say yeah. the future yeah. for the thing for the kingdom of God I mean we all call a service I'm doing the same thing you yeah you know, and people realize that yeah. not just because I got a title of pastor yeah. that's just that God entrusts me yeah with more because I've been doing this for a long time yeah. and I've been faithful when you're faithful in the little God gives you more work Amen. because being a pastor is just more work more Amen. responsibility yeah and, yeah, and and those things but you know I remember you were sharing with yeah. me that you love the word that you would like to teach the word yeah uh, I, because I, that's what yeah. that's what really we all doing we we to, to teach the word of God to others the experiences Amen. that uh, uh, we go through in life with God and also the knowledge that we have. That's why it's important that we continue to feed ourselves with the Word of God. But where do you see yourself? What is you? Yeah, you know? I would say it's like the Lord sees, I, I see it like the Lord sees it as like a canvas, right? So I'm mm -hmm. still, you know, still being painted. I don't know how it's going to look at the end, but mm -hmm. really I'm just allowing Him to use me, you right. know, wherever I'm at. And right now, I'm in the hospital. That's where I work. Mm -hmm. I look to expand my role there, possibly. Amen. And, you know, maybe if that's not the area that I go, then that's not the area I go. But I do have a business as a real estate agent. And, mm -hmm. you know, I feel the Lord has called me in that way to help people with, you know, the biggest investment of, of most yes. people's lives. Yes, so, yes, You know, at the end of the day, though, this is main front and center, just preaching the word and anyone I come across to in my life. Whether I'm working, whether I'm not working, you know, working out, you know, not working out, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, yeah, just just make sure that I can help, you know, brother, <laughs> hey, sister, you know, yeah. You ever yeah. thought of ministry and work or? I have, yeah, yeah, and I've even done it. I've, you know, I've thought about it, and you know, I don't, it's, I've never put it down, but um, it's just the the second, the the other aspect of of my life, you know. Right. And I feel like maybe that could be incorporated into just my overall life. You know what I mean? Right. My whole time can be into whatever it is with the family or just the business or, you know, the hospital. But, yeah, anyone I come across to, I found myself to be where, right where God wanted me to be. 
You know what I mean? And I just want to keep unfolding day after day. That's if it good. comes into that role, though, I, I don't I, I don't feel like I would ever hesitate into it. I just want to feel more of a, a lead into that, you know, more of a yes, calling, yes. And, you know. But, you know, yeah. that's good. That's, you yeah. know, it's like uh, wait on the Lord, you know. And Pretty much. Yeah, that's, that's uh, really yeah. where I'm at. Every day, that's where it's at. That's took me 30, 30 something years before I want to do this. Yeah. I want to do this. Yeah. But yeah. the more you you see the need, the more, you know what it is, you start. Yeah. It's like this. The more you, how can I explain this the best way? Um, well, I guess by my experience, that, like you, I was a young man and, 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 and starting out, and then I accepted the Lord, and I was into music, so I was in the music mm -hmm. ministry for a while, um, for, for, for some years, amen. And then, you, you know, God. God you always just, you starts you off, yeah, yeah. And, and the thing is to be open and say, Lord, yeah. here I am, you know, mm -hmm. and... That's uh, it, that's always, every that's day. That's it, every that's day, it, right. yeah, and uh, yeah. because things change, you know, I wanted to be a truck, I became a truck, I did everything I wanted because the Bible said, He gives us the desires of our heart, Amen. but the main thing that I was faithful, I was going to the house of the Lord, I was... Uh, plugged in doing something for the kingdom of God because yeah. that was my first priority. Mm -hmm. That's why the Bible says seek first the kingdom of God and in everything that you do. So I said, well, let me, you know, as I seek the Lord, and for mm -hmm. me was that I know that the Bible said that he gives me the desires of my heart. So he gave me the desires of being a trucker and what I yeah. wanted to do at that time in my life. Yeah, the Lord was like, here. Yeah, right, 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 right. You knock so, and the door will be open. Right, right. 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 That's but in, you get seasoned, but you, mm -hmm. I still stood plugged into the church and not knowing that mm -hmm. 30 years later I'll be pastoring a, a, a church mm -hmm. or doing what I'm doing today. Mm -hmm. and, but you grow. And you see what I'm saying? Touch so many people, really. Right. Yeah. And, that, and that's mm -hmm. what it's about. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, that is the greatest. Mm -hmm. The Bible says what, we're to leave an inheritance. What is the inheritance? Uh, our relationship with God, who we who we are, to, the Bible says not only to have a good name here on earth, but to have it with God. And the way to have it with God, that's the number one for me. Yeah. Regardless of anything, is that that God knows me, that I love Him, and that's what mm. God says. Man, just love. Yes. Yeah. This is why I come back to that yeah. same word about love, because yeah. we can read so many scriptures, and we can go to so many places and listen to so many different people. You understand what I'm saying, and and and, and many different uh, uh, what's the word I can use, Lord? Many many uh, uh, different revelation interpretation of yeah, the views. Word of God, and we yeah. got to be careful, yeah, uh, because uh, like I said, you know them by the fruits they bear. Again, I, I keep saying that because uh, it's all about love, because the Word is not just. Yes, we know it, we understand it, we read it, we get interpretation, and, and the thing is to apply it, but also to live it every day of our lives. Yeah. And the greatest thing that we can be, as you said, is a good Samaritan to someone that doesn't know the Lord or someone that even knows the Lord, right. uh, to each other, to every human being. If we had that more, we wouldn't have wars and all these yeah, uh, oh things gosh. that are happening around the world today. Wow. Eight. So many things. Yeah, just it's hate. contrary yeah. to love, and, and God is all about yeah. love, and that's what exactly. to me is simple. The Word of God is just to me basic is love, right. and treating others right and doing the things right. Yeah, that's when you have true righteousness in your life, my brothers and sisters. Mm. And as a young man, I started growing up mm. and learning, and look today, mm. it's just more work, and that's what mm. God called us to do. He saved us to save others. There you as go. he sent Jesus, Jesus yeah. came as a human person, went through every pain and suffering, uh, went through the things that we would go through and persecution worse than us, and he was able to withstand it because you know why? The Holy Spirit that was in him, the Spirit of God himself was inside of him, mm -hmm. and that's what changed him. And God did that for a reason, to show you, my sister and brother out there, that he is alive and active through mm. us and he loves us yes he loves us with so a love much. that never ends yes. and it, it matter of fact untouchable and that's what the word yeah. does because the more you do the 
the more you read the word, the more you do the word. Yeah. Not just see. Yeah. It's good to have knowledge, but you know you got a lot of scholars that know the knowledge and everything, but they have no heart. Mm -hmm. In other words, I want to echo the Father's heart. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm right. saying? Yes. I want to know the will of God in my life, yeah. and not just that these words are just written, but that I'm actually doing them every day in my life. There you go. That is the greatest thing that we can do because yeah. we got so many. Uh, things that today that we see in the churches today that are kind of strange in, a, in, in some way, but we also know that the Bible mm. talks about that the enemy is going to come in and infiltrate everywhere that he can. And what, mm. what did he want to destroy is the church, mm. which is you and I and the house of worship and ministry. That's why we got to be praying for each other. Yeah. And start lifting up each other, as as yes. the Bible says, coming into unity. Yeah. And reading the Bible, because yes. this is your strength. This yes. is where you find yes. the truth. So. Yes. Mm. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Man, that's good. That's <laughs> good. Really good. But you know what? Uh, uh, mm. You know, uh, as I was talking and sharing with you, I'm thinking about that, man, that, you know, mm. so your outlook in life, is to seek the word of God, right? Right. And to plant it in your life and yeah. to do that what God has called us yeah. to do. Yeah, and as little as one activity a day to to yes. know, have everybody want to, you know, encourage them, you know. Mm -hmm. One activity is just reading or just just asking the questions. Yes. You know? Yes. So just go out there and, and do your part, you know, because the Lord will go above and beyond. Amen. Sure. Yes. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Let me yeah. just see something here for a minute. Hey, yeah. God is so good, and what he's saying is truth. Amen. I see Amita. Yeah. I see Nat, Natty. Natty? Am I saying that right? Nice. Yeah, she, oh, that's my sister out there. Amen. You see, nice. and this is what I'm talking about, and, and, and I know that God has a lot of things in your life, and, uh, you yeah. know, as... as and I thank God for you being yeah. here with us and coming out, you know, on Sundays and, and being part of the church and... Yeah, and, of course. And, and sharing love the love, and and um, and uh, what yeah. we, you know, and this is what we're trying to say that if you're out there and you don't have a place to go, uh, yeah. uh, whether you're here, if you're here, we here, yeah. amen. Whether yeah. whatever you're at, whether you're yeah. in New York, whatever yes, you're at, if you're in Far Rockaway, go to Full Gospel Tabernacle. If you're in, yeah. in West Palm Beach, yeah. go down to uh, 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 what's the name of the uh, reservoir? Re Resurrection Ministries. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And just is, it, is that right? Resurrection? Uh? Renewed. I'm sorry. Renewed Ministries. Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're passing yeah. Nandes out there. If not, you go to Fort Lauderdale. You got one of core ministries out there. Uh, Pastor Tito Rodriguez. And, and there's a lot of brothers I know out there that are doing the same thing. But at the end of the day, that's the thing. And when we yeah. realize... The that we're doing that together in power and encouraging each other yeah. instead of knocking each other. They see that's where the unity comes in, and that pleases God. Amen. Because we're all out here doing the same thing. That's right. Exactly. Amen. Sharing the gospel, yes. which is the love of God to everyone, and to say it's never too late. Yeah. And if you're out there right now, and if you don't know the Lord, what would mm. you tell that person? Mm. That's okay. Out that's there? so good. Mm. Yeah. It's. Very simple. Mm -hmm. Sin, salvation, service. Yes, sir. So we are all sinners. Mm -hmm. And the Lord, Jesus Christ, came down from heaven to earth and saved us. Mm -hmm. And uh -huh. for the rest of eternity, it is for us to make the right decision. Amen. And to serve. Serve Amen. the Lord. And and really, that is the gospel. If if you wanted to, if you were just confused, or if you just have questions, mm. just really want you to understand, it is the the reason why we serve the Lord is really it's the love that He He saved us. Mm -hmm. It's the fact that we are nothing without Him. Amen. And we would be burning in hell straight mm -hmm. up. And so, yep. Thank you, Lord. You know, it's an Amen. Honor yes. That. Amen. Yeah. And it's so simple. All you yeah. got to do is just say, Lord, come into my heart. Yeah. Be Lord and Savior over my life. But yeah. you got to be sincere and you got to mean it. And that's yeah. the thing. Yeah. And I'll tell you, if you did that, please contact us and we can help you in any way. You can contact us at Low Wings Ministries mm -hmm. 
at gmail.com. Also, Natasha's putting up the address now, and our phone number is there. We can help anything. And anybody out there, I'm always saying anyone that's doing something in the community that's positive, that's helping something, like uh, uh, Mary's house out in Stewart, amen, that helped yeah. young ladies of, uh, that are uh, homeless or maybe they're, they're pregnant and they don't have nowhere yeah. to go. You can contact us here. Now, there's so many things out mm -hmm. there, and we want to advertise it here. This is why yes. I'm using our platform here yeah. to share, you yeah. know, uh, positive things, how to mm -hmm. help one another, mm -hmm. everyone. See, yeah. it's not just you know, it's it's not just preaching the word by mouth. It's by doing the the work, and 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 it's going to cost you something. And this mm -hmm. is what we, we we're saying here. But I say that to say this, come on out. We can help with anything in any ministry that's out there. I don't care if you got a home ministry. Or there's two or three of you. You're still my brother yeah. and sister. Come if you out. need us to help, we'll go out there or yeah. come out here. Whatever we can help. We would love out. that. We would yes. Love that. Yeah. And we've helped so many. We've yeah. seen pastors come yeah. from West Palm and yeah. others here. And, yeah. and, and brothers and sisters, not only brothers and sisters, and we're here to help and also, for those that are out there, uh, she's going to put the thing up Saturday here. We got, uh, uh, we're opening up our doors here, and it's absolutely free. We, uh, you know, we're not about that. We're using our platform to share the love of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Oh, it's not up there. Oh, I thought I had it up there. I, I forgot to put it up there. But you'll see it on our Facebook page. Go to Love Wings. Just put, for those that are out there, maybe you're watching for the first time, uh, go to Love Wings, yeah, just yeah. Love Wings on Facebook, and you'll find us, and you'll see the flyer there. I'll put it up there. I'll, I'll advertise it uh, during the week. I'll put it up there. Uh, but I'm going to say it anyway. This Friday at 3 p.m., uh, let me see if I find it. We're having, uh, we, the ladies have painted uh, paintings on, uh, what they call that again? This, this Friday? Canvas Saturday. Canvas, oh, this Saturday. Saturday. This Saturday, Saturday. I'm three. sorry. Yeah. At 3 p.m., you're invited to come. If you don't have oh, yeah. a canvas, don't worry. We have them here and, uh, for the just a fun same activity. Price. Yeah. Just, you yeah. Know. And, so. and just to spend time and to fellowship. Yeah. This is why we do that, because yeah. we want to let you know that we're here, and we want to fellowship with you and encourage you, my sister and brother. And don't worry. You know, just come on out. Amen. And, Amen. and soon, we're, uh, we're coming into a new year. The 23rd, we're having our... Uh, a music cantata here, a music, uh, sort of a party for the, the birth of Christ. Amen. We're having a party. That's why we're going to yeah, praise and worship God in, in Thanksgiving because that is the reason for the season is about Christ. Yeah. We're doing that on the 23rd. And then on New Year's, also, we start at 10 o'clock here. Those that are out there, we don't want you to be by yourself. If you don't have a place, you can come here. We're going to have a... Mm -hmm. uh, uh, a little food, and we're going to have the table set up in the sanctuary, and we're going to have uh, uh, the screen put up so we can watch yeah. the ball fall from New York, and we're just going to praise and worship and just come and fellowship and yeah, eat and, and have a good time. Yourself. Amen. So we're going to do that here, and we just, you know, we're small. We're doing the best we can with what we have, but yeah. what we have, we offer to you, my sister yeah. and brothers we out look there. forward to the memories we can make. Amen. Mm -hmm. And also acknowledging those that we've lost through the years, and maybe yes. this last year you lost a loved one. Mm. Uh, I know it's hard. Uh, we lost a few here in our, at a loved one's family, and we've been praying for them. But we acknowledge them every year, and we uh, share their photos and stuff like that, and 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 sing a song unto the memory, and because their yeah. spirit still dwells here with us, as far as I meant by that in our minds of our relationship with them. And I know that the Bible said we'll see them again. Amen. One Amen. day we'll see them again. Amen. But, uh, you know, that's important because I tell people all the time, the person that you meet, that's your ministry. God has, the Bible says that he has ordered our steps. And when we yes. walk the path that God has given us, he's going to bring individuals into our lives. And some of them are going to be challenging. And some of them are going to be uh, 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 loving and some of them are going to be very hard to get through but don't give up keep praying mm -hmm. for them keep encouraging them yeah. and as, as uh, you were talking about the good Samaritan right. spirit let's just don't walk by go ahead I'm sorry right. no you're good I, I wanted to close off with something too like mm -hmm. 
the Lord spoke, uh, I can't remember the first or the chapter, but mm -hmm. he talked about being a doctor. And, um, you know, when you're a doctor, you, you look to help the yes. ones that need, the yes. ones that are sick. Yeah. And, and, you know, for me, just my personal experience being in the hospital, that's exactly how I look at it sometimes. Yes. Most wow. of the time. Wow. It's just that's like, awesome. I need to help, you know what I mean? But if I can see, like, you're stressed, you need this, man, I'm going to get you a water or I'm going to just find a way to... Amen. You're, you're there, you know, Amen. I'm here, you know, and let's talk maybe, you know, let's see, you know, but at the end of the day, you know, this is where, it, where it's at. The, Amen. The, Amen. The, the, Amen. See, yeah. That's what we learn in the word and that's the love yeah. that I'm talking about. Exactly. Um, yeah. uh, guys, that's just, it's like I always say to people, it's not just reading the word, it's doing the word. Yeah. We read the word to know what to do. See, that's the yeah. thing. If it, it's not that hard and I tell people, don't get scared of you know, and it's just a book of regulation and rules. Yes, there's, there's rules in here, yeah. but I'm telling you, most of it is that's in here is about life, how to live abundant life and a true life, and to have peace in your life and and stress free. Because we know that the enemy comes to bring negative things. This comes to bring positive things every day in our lives. Right. And again, I, when I get that too, is that God is calling you today, Amen. And and no matter where you're at, He loves you just the way you are. No matter what has happened in the past, remember, forgive those others so you can move on in your life. Don't yeah. hold any bitterness or anything against anyone. Yeah. Stay intact. Just pray for them. Someone do you wrong, pray for them. Amen. And, and just, you know, give it to God. Remember the Bible said that the battle is not yours, it's it. Just trust Him. That's the whole thing. Trusting for mm -hmm. those things yet not seen, but believing and trusting. Yeah. And the evidence will come down the road. Believe me, it's happened in my life. Mm -hmm. And I've lived, and, 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 and what I'm trying to say, it gives us a long life and a prosperous life mm -hmm. and a healthy life. Amen. Because you have a healthy spirit. And that's what Amen. God is saying to us today. Oh, yeah. That's good. But again, don't forget Saturday. You're welcome to come. Uh, painting here. If you don't have a camera, we have cameras this here. Uh, you can purchase them. It was about the same price. Maybe we give them even cheaper yeah. than what they sell it in the, in the dollar store. Because we would want you to just come and, and, and have a good time and fellowship with us here. And again, our services are, again, she's going to put the address up. We have service at 11 a.m. on Sundays. And we pray from 11 to 11.30. Then we go live on social media uh, and praise and worship. And then we, the message that God has given us to share that day. Amen. And again, uh, we're just here. Amen. And we, uh, like me and uh, Brandon. Brandon are asking yeah. you today, we're here, man. The door's open. Yeah. Come visit us. And, and also, I'm praying for you, my brother, Thank that you, God's going to use you, you more right even here on social media than yeah. that. Mm. You know, things I've been thinking about something new to do. And I'm yeah. just saying, I need help. Amen. Because I need brothers and sisters to come and share. Yeah. And we have, uh, again... It was a pleasure. Yeah, the facility that we have, you know, I want to use it to build you up, my brothers and sisters. And the Amen. gift that God's put in your life, that's what I want to do is help you. Whether you're a musician, and really a musician, uh, whatever that God's given you, man, I want to help you in it and Amen. encourage you. And that's what it's all about. Amen. When we start... Uh, uh, doing the things that God has called us to be mentors. That's what the Bible says, to mentor someone else. That what God has done in your life, share it with your brothers and sisters. That's why the most important thing that we can say is your testimony is the most important thing of what God has done in your life. And as I asked, I was asking that what God did in his life, and he was sharing how he came to the Lord at 10 and and the things that he's learning. And right. that's what it's all about. Yeah. And God's going to open up doors yeah. for you, man. Thank you. Forget about Thank it. You, you know, like they say in New York. <laughs> <laughs> I just that, uh, that the yeah. devil can't touch. Yeah. Amen. Because you're yeah. walking the right path Thank you as much. a young man. Yeah. And, and I really appreciate you for, even today, because a lot of people don't, they're scared yeah. of coming on social. Some people are just, yeah. but but we're but not no. here. We, we, we're not scared to speak the it's, truth because we're talking about the Lord. It's all this is. Amen. You know, it's love. It's so, all love. Again, I want to say uh, from me and Brandon here, we love you guys. And again, I just want to pray, Father, I thank you for this opportunity. Yes. Lord, I pray, Father, that everything that was said here has stirred the spirit of those that were watching now or watch this video later, Lord. 
Father, that we've touched them, Lord. And Father, for we know that your word accomplishes what it's set out to do, Lord. When we're speaking with true hearts and, and, and speaking your word, Father, which gives us power. And Father, under your anointing, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen, amen. Remember, we're waiting on you. Come on out. Amen. God bless you. Yes.